Today is Sunday, 12th of September, 2021, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is, He's Got You Covered. Our theme scripture is taken from Jeremiah 1 verse 5, and it says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. Hallelujah. There are those who are hesitant to let God have his way in their lives, Pastor begins. They think he'll change their lofty dreams and ambitions. They've painted the picture of what they want in life and the direction they want to go, and they think if they let God have his way, he may change their destiny and lead them to become something they don't want to be. Pastor says that's a terrible mistake. The Lord knows better and loves you more than you love yourself. Therefore, trust Him with your life. Praise God. He's more ambitious for your success than you could ever be. All He's ever wanted is the best for you. What joy thrilled my soul when I discovered that the Lord was more ambitious for my success than I could ever be, and that He loved and cared for me more than I could ever imagine. He created the whole world and he knows everything about me and about my future. Therefore, it was easy to trust him and follow the path that is prepared for me. Oh, praise the Lord. Pastor says every so often, I'd say, Lord, you know exactly what to do with someone like me. You are experienced in dealing with all kinds of people, so you know exactly what to do with my life. Hallelujah. Pastor says, when you are conscious of this, you become bold, sharp, focused, and unafraid. You know that your future is secure in Him. Hallelujah. Nothing could be more fulfilling and gratifying than knowing and following God's plan for your life. Stop holding on to some dream, idea, or aspirations that aren't in line with God's purpose for your life. He's got you covered. So, let him guide you, Pastor concludes. Oh, thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. Okay, let's do this prayer together, meaning it to the whole of our hearts. Please say after me, Dear Father, I live for you alone. Every step that I take and move that I make are towards fulfilling your purpose for my life. I was born to bring you glory and honor. Thank you for setting me on the path that I must follow. I live in divine destiny, in the center of your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. Okay, for further study, please read Ephesians 2.10 of the Amplified Classic. And hear what the Lord says in Jeremiah 29, 11 of the message translation. I know what I'm doing. I have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you, not abandon you. Plans to give you the future you hope for. So do not cast away your confidence. Huh? It will be richly rewarded. According to Hebrews 10 verse 35. Oh, blessed be God. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit.
thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.